So I brought in a, a special coach because um, I'm a little bit nervous. I brought in a special coach from Australia. Like I've flown someone over. Um, you know, he's been helping me for the last three months, train back home. And what's his name? I just like to Rapongi Pete, and I just like to introduce him to everyone. So this is Pete. Ah, oh, there he is. My name is Pete. There he is. There he is, Rapongi Pete. So this guy's uh, been my sparring partner. He's subbed me a lot of times, you know, just getting me ready for this kitschy fight. And and uh, hey, take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> he loves the strip clubs. I'm trying to get training every day, and this guy's out all night. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> my specialty is massaging colleagues. He just massages my ears. That's that's all he does in training. Get away, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> that was a 5.6 magnitude earthquake. Yeah, so Liam's, Liam's telling everyone to get out into the doorways, which is what we're told in Australia. To Richie went to stand by the window. Oh, in Australia, because we had hanging out. out. Richie's a true survivor. I live through an earthquake, a deep diver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just carrying that around, too. I know. I'm going to get Ah, the door's even shut here. This place is unreal. Yeah, a lot of those things are like considered like rude if you do. Like, so you so you put your money in here, and then you, you, you order you order your dish or whatever it is, you press the button, it gives you a voucher, and then they make it. Like that, I think mean, that'll be yeah. a meal of fortune. That's his corner. Food. Yeah. Hold my dip bottle for a sec. Is that where Vic's from too? Yeah, Virgin? Nah, he's from Melbourne. Melbourne. Ah, he's, he's from Australia, but down yeah. cold area. Yeah, likewise. Take it easy, guys. Oh, it's just a few. Yeah, you got it. So we're just going to AACC. It's a top woman's academy. Yeah, top Women's Academy in Harajuku, run by Abe. Run by Abe. So, my first session outside of the uh, the hotel. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Lawrence just called and told me the gym shut. It's not, but it's not actually shut, right? Well, they won't let them upstairs. Yeah, they won't let them upstairs to train. Oh man. Whoa, what's going on here? Cops and robbers. So what do you want to do? We'll make it work. Make it work. <laughs> High five. Not sure. Fish yeah. bags. Yeah. Awesome. A friend in Europe said it's a bit practice. Uh, Damn 15 kilograms. Uh, that yeah. might be yeah. four, two, four, six, seven. I don't know what 100 kilograms is. So, they won't let us use it. Um, doesn't matter, we'll go to the hotel and then we've just got to get a good workout for Rich, man, and we'll yeah. deal with everything after. Man. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get a good sweat. You know. <laughs> 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 <la
Guys, you want to all jump in quick? Come on. on the bag there. Excuse me. What would you do if you just bumped into your opponent here and let us get up? Probably shake his hand. The, the lift door just opens. Who's standing there with his peroxide of hair? Kunamoto. He just looked at me. Hey, he looked at me. I was like, "Say hi." I actually, Kunamoto. And I shake his hand, and he just kind of looked at me like this, blankly, like shook my hand. He just looked at me, and then we just, I know, it's bad to him, and it's off. Oh, that's cool, man. Say how you've been saying it though. Arigatou. Magatou. It's a legit how, name, yeah. How you feeling? Uh, pretty nervous, man. A little bit of nerves, just uh, I'll be happy once I get this media work over. Relax. It's just that tension, like, of uh, the days leading up to the fight, you know? You know that it's just like this, this little event. Well, this big event doesn't go for much time, you know? So there's a lot of pressure built up on just uh, on one event. So it's hard not to kind of put pressure on yourself and also, it's just, I don't know, you feel it in your stomach, you know, when you're getting ready for a battle of any description. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting. Just walking down the street, I'm always switched on, like just turning into fight mode. Everything, like walking out of my hotel, walking down the street, like never quite settled, you know? This is part of the life. It's something you have to deal with, I think, as a fighter. Um, I don't think it goes away. I think you just get better at understanding, you know, that that's the feelings you're going to get associated with this sport. 